I will show you two ways to differentiate absolute value of x. First, we can look at its graph, which looks like a V like this, and then let's take a look at its piecewise definition, which is just going to be equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and then we get negative x if x is less than 0, and now we can just differentiate absolute value of x piecewise d, right, which is going to be really nice. And of course, we just get 1 and negative 1, but remember, we cannot differentiate at the corner right here, so we do not have the 0 anymore right here, so we put down if x is greater than 0 here, if x is less than 0 here, and then we are done. But this is not so cool, right? So let me show you guys another way to do it. Differentiating absolute value of x. And well, this right here is the same as differentiating square root of x squared, which is going to be so cool because now we can just do the usual way. Differentiating square root is 1 over 2 square root of that, which is x squared. And now use the chain loop, right? Multiply by the derivative itself, which is going to be 2x. And this and that will cancel. And you see that on the top we get x, on the bottom we get what? Yes, this is just going to be absolute value of x. Very nice. And now we are going to multiply the top and bottom by absolute value of x again, you will see why. Because this right here will get absolute value of x squared, which we can put the square inside, which is absolute value of x squared, which is what? Because the inside is always positive, so we don't need absolute value anymore, so this is just x squared. So this right here is just going to be x times absolute value of x over that x squared right there, and then you see this and that will cancel. So ladies and gentlemen, the answer is just nicely equal to absolute value of x over x, and this is so cool because it looks like we just divide this by an x.